Prescription Medications, Your Guide to English Vocabulary. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to discuss an important topic from the health and wellness category, prescription medications. We will learn about the English terminology related to this subject which is vital for everyday conversations, especially when it comes to discussing health matters. Prescription medications, also known as prescription drugs, are medicines that you can only get if a healthcare professional, like a doctor or a nurse, gives you a prescription. Some common types of prescription medications include antibiotics, used to treat infections, analgesics, pain relievers, and antidepressants, used to treat depression. When talking about prescription medications, it's important to know some key phrases. Here are a few examples. Fill a prescription. When you take a prescription to a pharmacy and the pharmacist gives you the medicine, we say you have filled your prescription. Refill a prescription. When you've run out of medicine and you need more, you might ask the pharmacy to refill your prescription. Take medication as prescribed. This means you should follow the doctor's instructions about how and when to take the medicine. Let's now go through some specific vocabulary related to prescription medications. Dosage. This refers to the amount of medication you should take at one time. Side effects. These are unwanted reactions that may occur when taking medication. Over-the-counter, OTC medications. These are medicines you can buy without a prescription. Generic drug. A generic drug is a medication that has the same active ingredients as a brand name drug, but usually costs less. That's all for today's lesson on prescription medications. We've covered a lot of ground, from understanding what prescription medications are to learning key phrases and specific vocabulary related to them. Remember, practicing these terms and phrases will help you feel more comfortable when discussing health matters in English. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope you found this lesson helpful. Keep practicing and stay healthy.